Christ is coming. The Lord Jesus is coming. Will you be ready? God, cons, God commands all men to repent, to turn from their sins. And you can be saved. If you repent and you believe the gospel, if you turn from your sins and you believe the gospel, the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, he came down to earth from heaven. He was born from a virgin. And she gave, Mary, she gave birth to the Son of God. It was this Jesus Christ that came from, came from heaven, he came out of her. And he committed no sin. He went about doing the work of God. And it's the same Jesus who did his ministry for approximately three years, three and a half. He preaches and he talks about the kingdom of God that was to come and the kingdom that was coming that during that time while he was on earth. If you repent and you're born of the water of the spirit, then his kingdom can come and live inside of you. You can be connected to God. You can receive the Holy Spirit. And the Father and Son can make their home inside of you. They can live in you. If you repent, you can be forgiven of your sins. You can be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And you can be saved. All of those that do sin, they will not be saved. The Bible lets us know that the one that commits sin is of the devil. If you commit sin, then you are not a child of God. But if you turn from your sin, and you believe the gospel, you can be baptized. God can forgive you of your sins. Your sins can be washed away. Jesus Christ is coming. The Bible commands us to go and to share our faith. We're to go to the highways and the byways to compel people to come to the wedding feast. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Are your garments washed? Or do you have spots on your garments? Are you living a righteous life? Are you doing those things that God commands? Are you lying? Are you stealing? Are you committing idolatry? If you are, then you do not know the Lord. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Do you know Jesus? I love Jesus. I love do you obey him? Do you obey him? If you say that you love him, but you don't obey him, I love him. then you are a liar. Jesus wants you to be saved. It is not his will that any should perish, but that all would come to repentance. There are lots of things that are in the New Testament, that are in the Bible, that God commands us to do. Many people will say that they are Christians, but they are living in sin and they are not obeying God. The Bible lets us know to be not like the hypocrites when they pray, when we pray. The hypocrites, they go out and they pray in public, and they try to make big scenes. That's what the Pharisees did. Pharisees do that. They want to be seen of men. But you can pray in your prayer closet with a pure heart and God can hear you. You're not to be like the heathens. We're not to call people rabbi, rabbi. We're not to call men our master. We have one master. You're not to be af afraid of men and of their faces. Many people are afraid to talk about God. They're afraid of men's faces. They're afraid. They say that they love God, but they don't talk about Jesus. They're a closet Christian. You can't be a closet Christian. If you're ashamed of Jesus, he will be ashamed of you. If you say that you love Jesus, then you shouldn't be ashamed to talk about him. 
Jesus Christ, if he saved you from your sins, then you should want others to be saved. Yes, he is our Savior, but he's also Lord. Many will come in that day and they will say, Lord, Lord. They will talk about the works that they did. And Jesus is going to say, I never knew you. If you don't obey Jesus, he's not your Lord. Many people think that Jesus is their Savior and he can be your Savior because he died for you. But in order to receive that salvation that comes from him, you have to make him your Lord and you have to obey him. Jesus is going to judge the tree by their fruit. He's going to look at your character. And if you say that you, if you, say that you have the fruit of Christ, but you have bad character, then you are a liar and you don't know him. If your works are abominable, then you don't know the Lord. Do not be deceived. If you sow to the flesh, you'll reap corruption. If you do the works of the flesh, you will not be saved. But you can be saved. You can repent. You can give your life to Jesus. Jesus is coming. Are you ready for Jesus? Do you truly love him? Hey, hey dear sir, would you like a track? Sir, would you like a track? God bless you. Jesus is coming. If you love Jesus, then you will keep his commandments. Do you keep the commandments of Jesus? Do you truly love him? Then you have to show it through your deeds. Jesus is coming. Repent. Praise God. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob for his help. Of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are bad.